Yeah, Darren Dillon having a great camp for us. Now, he's our quarterback on defense, knows all the calls. He's the guy who has to get us in and out of the checks and also get lined up right to begin with. Uh, you know, Darren's just been spot on and then really had a special day the other night just really with his execution, alignment, assignment, getting everybody right, and defense really played well. I think a lot has to do with his leadership. Yeah, well, practice, it's all about execution. You, you do your things, you do your job well, you, you make plays, and as long as you have no mistakes, you'll be congratulated with a blue shirt. Uh, a lot of pass breakups. I, I might have a few interceptions yesterday. I can't remember. The practices are going long. But, yeah, made a few plays. Training camp's been good. Now that I'm, I've been here for a few years, it's, it's, it's more, you, you're more expected what's going what's gonna to happen. So you're not, it's not, nothing new to you, so you're well prepared for everything. Yeah, I, I would like to say the Hawk safety, Christian Burt, he made a great improvement. He's been playing well this camp so far. He's, he's stepping up. To, he's starting this year, so hopefully he has a great year. Yeah, Rob, really, I, I think his, uh, his MVP really came, obviously, from the excellent effort, as always, and execution. Only had a couple catches, but he really excelled in the blocking end the other night. Really took, uh, he took the coaching from one day to the next, and, and it showed on tape. Very physical, did an outstanding job to earn that blue shirt. Well, uh, first off, it's a team effort. Everyone is out there grinding. Everyone's working hard. Coaches obviously can't nominate 100 MVPs every day, so uh, luckily I got, the, I got the jersey today. Um, Obviously, I'm behind Captain Emil Guanagu. He had three in a row last week, so uh, I still have some catching up to do. I'm only two right now. That's pretty impressive, though. Yeah. You got a pair of tight ends who who are really, you know, earning some high praise for the work that you're doing in practice. Yeah, I mean, it's a it's an important position to this offense. So uh, the coaches, if, as long as you produce, they're gonna they're gonna reward you for the work you put in. It's it's difficult, but. It's also fun, you know, uh, in high school, I didn't really have that many catches. I was more known for my defensive line skills, but um, I came here, Coach Picucci put me into the offense, and uh, I realized how exciting it could be to be a tight end, H-back, fullback, basically all the same position, they move you around. So you're catching balls out of the backfield, flexing out. It's, it's really a great offense to be a tight end of. As my third camp at UMass, I do feel as though I am physically and mentally more prepared, but also just the feeling I get from the team, the vibes from the team, just the whole swag we have out here is just, I've been here, this is like I said, this is my third year and I've not, I haven't have felt anything like this yet. I feel like the team chemistry is just like nothing we've had before. I've heard a lot of guys say that there's a, a good team chemistry. Um, what, what do you kind of think is the reason for that? Honestly, I think it's just spending time with these guys every day, last three years, even the freshmen coming in, I know it's their first camp, but just the coaching philosophy that we've gotten uh, it seems like it's switched up a little bit. Uh, we got a bunch of new coaches in here that uh, just the way, like I said, the, the team chemistry is great, not just the, the players, but also the, also the coaching staff is just, everything's just real great this, this summer.